Well, we used to go over to England for what was uh, termed the Swilgrimage. It was um, purely uh, go up to the north of England and hit all these pubs he, he knew from his youth. Some of the best beer on the planet. And it, it was just remarkable seeing him back in his, in his, in his, you know, his original habitat. This is uh, where, um, where I grew up. The school I used to go to is down the street, Drummond Road. Down here? Yeah, that's the school right there. And then the street, um, the street where I was born is just going to be around this corner right here, coming up. So this, so this, this Priestman building. Street. Oh, uh, it was called Priestman Street before. Yeah. Where I used to hang was right down here on the left hand side is Bradford's like largest park, Manningham Park. Mm. It's a really cool park. I have a lot of memories about that as a kid at school during this kids holidays and stuff. So the left hand side, the gates right there to the park. Oh yeah. It's a very nice park. Oh well, it was. And then oh, this is the whole nice park now. We're gonna go along the whole park. Or part of it. It's oh. quite a big park. That's Cartwright Hall in the middle of it. One thing that stays with me and lingers on are memories of those first rehearsals before any given tour when after setting up Alan would strike those first few chords 
and this wave of awe, inspiration, emotion would just wash over me. The sublime nature of his tone and his voicings in those first few chords it was enough to have this profound effect and I'm sure most of the other guys felt the same thing that it was such an innocuous special moment something that for some reason I think of quite often Apart from his sublime genius, I remember the man, the personability, the, the humility and the sense of humour. He loved a good laugh and we had many of them on the road in the tour bus. In fact, we often listen to stand-up comedy while touring and backstage um, we just spent a lot of time laughing they were great times and he shared a few gags and one of my favorite stories was from back in the old days in the motherland the UK he told us the story of this character who would come into the local pub and he would announce himself in no uncertain terms to the bartender. Hey, wait a Three pints of bitter, you <laughs> <laughs> Watch your tongue, <laughs> you <fuck off. laughs> He'd become very uncomfortable with his weight gain, but often even joked about that. It was quite funny, really, hilarious. He would often refer to himself as a beached whale. The time we were on the beach at Playa del Carmen, he asked me to follow him down to the water's edge so I could film him acting out his newfound alliance to this blubbery marine species. Hilarious. He was hilarious. <laughs> the beached whale from Bradford. <laughs> I'll never forget his humility, his greatness, his sense of humour and uh, his friendship. He will live on forever in my heart. And as we all will, I'll miss him very dearly.